Ah, oh, first stop, Sunshine State. Sea World. It's like the super mutant tanks giant. Oh, yeah, it was, I thought I was gonna yeah, run into a wall. I thought they were like a, um, I that was like a yeah, I thought it was like a fake show kind of thing, like a... Yeah, I thought it was all animated. That's insane. Chess piece, so I could take the um, GoPro on, um, like all the rides, okay. put it on my head. I put it down there, but yeah, it probably bite me. <laughs> Have you heard them? They're loud. Have you heard how scary they are? Do you want me to show you? No, it's so He's angry, bud. They're scary ass. Baby, though, we're not sure. Who 
Oh, she's she's gone. gone. She's flying. <laughs> Taking off. Going to have a look at the other stuff. The water's insane. Yeah, it's around with them, gooey. Crystal clear. Oh, I just want a pat one. Reminds me of the creeks in um, Cape York. Oh, look, she's scratching its belly. I wish I could zoom in on them. <laughs> Standing on his head. That's the one. Yeah, ha. Golden walrus. <laughs> Golden walrus, see me. Did you see it? No. <laughs> Where? Oh, is it? No. Almost lost it. <laughs> Imagine that, drop it down and you have to go and fight the sharks for it. You wouldn't either. <laughs> Just let the sharks have it. Check it out. Wanna go look at the polar bears? Yeah, and then we'll get going up to the seal show. Seal show? Yeah. Yeah, right. Let's go have a look at some polar bears. Actually, how this little lady travels a longer distance, so that is actually the slower option for moving around in the water. So Maureen, why don't you come over here and we can head on back to our beautiful back stage assistant and come on out showing us just how quickly you can travel in the water. So this time, Maury's going to come from the other side, folks. And if we think about those jumps as kind of a over the surface of the water, nice work, Rory. So she can actually clock up to 30, 35 kilometres an hour when she is doing that. And, um, oh, Rachel, um, did you have fun down here today? That's my one. Uh, okay, I see what's going on here. You know what, may I trade you this for that microphone you still have? I think that's a good trade and I'm pretty sure Rory is Alright, well let's check in guys. Rory, was that a good decision on Rachel's behalf? I know it's like Jurassic Park, isn't it folks? Now let me translate. She said, indeed, that was one more eligible container. And by popping it in there, it gets to become a brand new container in just a short time as well. Rather than going into landfill where it can actually take up to 500 years to break down. Now Rory being a young female here is getting very familiar with all the different ways she can move her body around. And um, Rachel, you look so relaxed there. How can I add a little bit of Rory into your life? Uh, quickly or slowly? Very quickly. Okay, I better get ready. Are you thinking about a recall? Um, it's like you can read my mind. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, guys, a recall is actually happening now. So let's go from one trainer to another. Don't worry, I don't have to scream and shout. I'm actually going to make a metal on a metal noise. I scream on my finger. This little piece of metal on my belt. So when Laura's ready, she can point in any direction. And Rory comes straight to those clicks. Nice job, Rory. But I think it was a bit easy. She can see me. So let's make that a little bit harder. Come on over 
over here, Rory. No cheating. We're going to hide behind the rocks. And when Laura's ready, she's hiding. Okay, she's gone. Are you ready, Laura? Can you? Laura. <laughs> Are you ready, Laura? Can you go find Laura? Yes, Rory and I have moved, morphed into one <laughs> entity now. Apparently you have. <laughs> here she goes, straight across that stage. Oh, gotcha! Now our seals are actually able to haul out so things they can look around their environment, also have a bit of a sunbake and a snooze. For this afternoon though, Rory, how about a big wave farewell for everyone? Lovely. And as much as I know you're a great climber, we can make it easy, even easier coming down. by letting gravity do the work. would like to take you behind the scenes, show you some of the medical behaviours that we work with these animals. Now these are super important behaviours because they assist us in keeping the animal in tip top shape. It is so much easier if we can actually get them to participate in their own health care routine. And I'm looking your mouth. Very good. Don't need a visit from the dentist. Excellent. Can I check your ears? Your eyes are all clear. How about the flipper? Good. What about this one? Excellent. Would you like to lay out now? And I can check over his whole body. Check that everything is good on the outside as it is on the inside. This is a great position in case you needed to do, say, an x-ray on a shoulder or an x-ray on his rear flipper. Maybe even a vaccination. Well done. Now, just say so I needed to have a look at Boston's tummy and check that everything is okay, I can simply ask Boston, can you lay on down? Great. And how about a rollover and I can check your tummy. And he's happy to participate. Now, this position is super exciting for our female and fur seals and sea lions. We can do an ultrasound right over here and check some exciting news, like a little pup inside. Um, but you know what, for this guy, probably just going to be a, a lot of fish. Well done. Now, being Monday, today, Boston hopped on his pay scales and got weighed. And that way we can keep a graph of their weight and check that he's on track. Now. I was in the middle of talking about my husband's trick. Okay, you won't believe this, but he would love you to pick some very exciting person out to come down and meet him. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good idea. No, it's good idea. I'd love to have a sweet one of you, so get those hands in the air and wave them around. Put one hand in the air and wiggle one finger. You ready? And you check if everyone actually wants to see this. Okay, guys. Donna and Boston have...
Please stop.